It's been illegal since 2017 for large companies in the US, Europe, Asia, anywhere in fact, to force employees in France to answer emails or otherwise remain digitally connected to work outside of agreed upon hours. But the European Parliament this month voted in favour for a rule like this to apply to every EU member nation. The devil's in the detail here though. I'm Nate Langson, let me explain. On January 21st, a majority of lawmakers in the European Parliament voted to say employees should have legal rights to switch off from work-related tasks and electronic communication outside of office hours without facing consequences. This kind of rule is often referred to as a right to disconnect, and it's not unprecedented for it to attract legislative attention. In addition to France, a similar policy exists in Italy, for example. Ireland and Germany have discussed it in some form, and some companies have responded to concern about email use by just switching off their servers for employees. Carmaker Volkswagen did this a decade ago, for instance. So what does a majority of lawmakers in the European Parliament voting to apply this idea to all EU nations really mean? My colleague in Brussels, Natalia Drozdiak, said this is a non-binding call, which means it can be ignored, but it's meant to urge a formal proposal of new rules that would enshrine the rights of workers into law. These would then need to be voted on a final time. And this, Natalia told me, is not a quick process. The EU has three lawmaking institutions. The European Commission, which is the executive branch, proposes the new rules. Those are then voted on by the European Parliament and the European Council of Member States before it becomes law. And because of that relationship, how binding is a vote like this? Does anyone actually have to act on it? And, and if so, how long could something like this take to become a law across the whole of the, the Member States? Well, the timeline in this case is still unclear because it's up to the Commission to decide whether they actually want to go ahead and propose new rules like this. Um, if they decide to do that, then the law would still have to be put to the vote to the Parliament and to the European Council. And that's a process that could take years. There are a number of reasons why even a potentially slow legislative reform process should be monitored carefully though. One is that there's already evidence the idea is attractive in principle to some member states, as seen in France. Also, because of the pandemic, many executives I speak to say they expect some of their employees to want to keep working from home, or at least away from an office, but mental health charities and experts regularly express concern that work-life balances could suffer as a result, if not properly monitored. If businesses ignore this, expect regulators to at least take note. It'd be a challenge for large companies to manage, particularly if a distributed workforce spans multiple continents and time zones. But the existence of a right to disconnect isn't a mandate that employees have to. At the end of the day, it's really up to the individual in the cases we've seen so far. What Europe's lawmakers have said is that it's an option they think all workers should at least have, just in case it's ever needed, and even if a law cementing it EU-wide could be years away. For Quick Take in London, I'm Nate Langson and I've been technically speaking. For more tech stories that you may otherwise miss, keep your eye on Bloomberg.com.